Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Adobe Nolly, coming to you live from the city of Abuja, Nigeria. Kindly like, comment, subscribe and click the bell button down below so you get a notification whenever I make a post and also share with everybody around you. First and foremost, let me tender my sincere apologies for not reviewing that of last week. I was caught up in so many things that I could not, like my head was so full. So sorry about that. So today I'm here to review or give my reactions of Skinny Girls in Transit, episode, season 6, episode 4, titled After the Blues. All right, Mrs. Macaulay, like I explained earlier on before you signed the consent, the poster is called a man hour vacuum aspiration. And um, it shouldn't take more than 20 minutes to... Right from last week, after I watched it, I just knew that this week's episode was just going to be so emotional. From the previous episode, we saw that she was bleeding and I just thought to myself, see why am I lose this baby? And it happened that she lost her baby. She had a miscarriage. And the painful thing about it is that it happened on her bed day. Like, why must it be on her bed day for crying out loud? So that was so, so touching. And I didn't like the way Mide handled everything. Why was he destroying the baby? Because even if, yes, yeah, she had a miscarriage, which is not even a good thing, I understand, yeah, you'll be going through some pains. But I don't expect you being the man to actually act that way. Then how do you expect your wife to really act basically? So I, I didn't really like what Mide did by destroying the baby cot. He should have at least put himself in check, controlled himself for his wife, be strong for his wife. That's what I think, Sha. Although I know men have feelings, yes, but I think you should be able to control your feelings more than the way a woman will control her feelings. Mohammed comes to the house and brings Farad and Nunu for his supposed in-law and then meets them in a very, very down mood. First and, for, first and foremost, first. Why is Wasi always happy? When everybody is sad, Wasi is always happy. And then that her makeup, <clears throat> let me just cough. That her makeup is something else, like, ah, it's something else. Then as Mohammed came to the house, definitely, he saw that everybody was not happy. And then he just, um, Shalewa broke the news to him that she, um, Siwa lost her baby. And when he went to meet his friend and his friend asked him, um, did you tell her? I just knew something was wrong. I just knew that that trip he went for, Kai, there was a comment. Maybe his friend said, did you tell her? Kai, I just knew, Kai, Kai, Mohammed has done something. Mohammed has done something. I don't have to say I like that his friend for actually encouraging him to tell Shalewa the truth or he was telling him to tell her the truth so that he can now be with Farida. I don't know, um, but I feel he I feel he might be a good person for him to actually say, yeah, you messed up, tell your girlfriend about it. We now see Mommy Tiwa and her sister coming to visit uh, coming to visit Tiwa and the husband, and then they now come with Woli. Woli is becoming a pain in my ass. Like, I'm tired of seeing Woli. Why is it just me that feels that Woli is a fake prophet? I don't know. I just feel he's a fake prophet. And you know, mothers of, or African mothers, basically, once they believe in a particular man of God. See, it will only take heaven and earth to come down before they actually believe that this guy is a fake man. He's a fake prophet. How would you be coming to pray for somebody and then they're asking you whether you eat food and you had the infantry to say yes, you eat. If I even told them you eat three pieces of cow skin, are you okay? Like, I like the way um, Tiwa looked at him, like, bros. So I don't, I don't, I'm tired of all these Hats. Then when Mommy Tiwa took um said she wanted to eat Eba, I just knew when she was taking Midi inside that it was not Eba she was going for. You see African mothers. African mothers are so smart though. Just forget it. They are very, very smart when it comes to this kind of especially when it, when it comes to their own children. Eh? They understand their children, they understand when their children their children's not have gone out. Like African mothers are just the bomb. So I just knew she wanted to tell um Midi something and I like the way she took him out. And explain things to her that oh you know your wife or your wife is strong-headed and all of that but you don't have to be strong and take care of your wife I like the way she actually acted that part that is truly the way an African mother or a Nigerian mother to be precise will actually behave see what blaming herself for losing the pregnancy is what I do not understand how can she blame her I thought she had this self-confidence in her I don't know why everything just reversed all of a sudden she's no longer fat as before so i don't know why she's blaming herself for being fat she's body shaming herself if she says yes okay it's due to the work pressure no, i can understand work pressure but not trying to body shame herself i don't really know why she blamed herself why she actually no i wasn't happy 
the way she had handled that aspect. Yes, you can blame yourself for stressing yourself at work, and all, but not to body shame yourself. You've tried your best. She has even lost some weight. So mm -mm. then the way she's also trying to sideline me day in all of this, the two of you are in this together. Yes, you're going through an emotional pain. It doesn't mean that your husband should not be with you that is why people are one for crying out like yes husband is trying to understand your pain trying to be there for you i don't see any reason why you should just shut him out of your life. this is your baby and his baby he also lost his baby as well so i didn't like the way she acts and we see um muhammad coming to the house and to see shalewa and then shalewa tries to see hey guys calm down first then when a lady start asking you question as in, when she's that not just online, when she's that asking you jam question, just know that she knows what's up. She might not know the full details, but she has an idea of what is going on. And don't just lie, because if you lie, you're making things worse. So, Shalewa already knows that Farida traveled with Mohammed to Kanu for the wedding. And you, if we remember very well, I know Shalewa was trying to beg or to beg um, Mohammed so that she could go with him to Kanu, but Mohammed was like, no. That she shouldn't call maybe some other time and all of a sudden farida was there for the wedding so shalewa saw farida definitely and we're like why would farida go with you mama tries to explain all of that you know there is always an explanation to every action so explanation keeps going on and then um tiwa comes in and mohammed um sympathizes with tiwa sorry for your loss and all of that tiwana goes to see her mom and her mom is like trust mommy tiwana now mommy tiwana is like why are you going to be that bag You're like i'm going to my room which room you don't have a room again in this house so go back to your husband's house and i like the way mommy tiwana actually acted here like yes your husband is not beating you he's not trying to he's not act he's not misbehaving so why are you leaving your husband's house why are you leaving your matrimonial home this is my own matrimonial home so you do not have a room here anymore you shouldn't give um room for the devil to come in i like that as far as he's not beating you there's no form of domestic violence he's not hurting you emotionally and all of that yes you might want a day or two to think but make sure the man is in the know of what's going on and mommy tiwa had to invite her son-in-law to come and take his wife like then mohammed goes ahead like he's sorry that he did not know he's not supposed to tell tiwa and all of that apart him sympathize with tiwa and he just breaks down why is there anything i do nobody appreciates it and like ah, ah mohammed what is happening i just you can't mohammed 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 seems to be a very emotional person but then he named shalewa was trying to console him no it's not like that it's okay it's fine it's fine it's all right and then goes ahead to hug him like you know there's some hugs that you receive like this eh? everything just as if your whole problems your whole problems have just gone down the drain so i think that was just the hug shalewa gave to him and he just goes ahead to break the news and i did not mean to do it but it's fine oh, we had sex it's fine oh, we had sex and I'm like, eh? Mo see, really they just said, really I just heard, I had said that. I just paused. I was like, Mohammed, are you mad? See, there's no insult I did not give Mohammed when I was watching that. Thing. There's no insult I did not give Mohammed. I Shaliwa just, you know, this kind of when they just tell you something, you're trying to digest it or you're trying to think, is somebody in this room with me that just said something? And she was like, what? I like the way Shalewa as in handled this particular situation. I would never have believed that Shalewa of um, season one would actually be the Shalewa that responded this way. She's so matured now. I love the way Shalewa handled it. Like she handled it very well. I would have least expected Shalewa of all people to act that way, but she surprised everybody. Like everybody is surprised that ah, Shalewa is now matured. I mean, yes, I think it's better both go their ways because. If you come to think of it, Muhammad's family might not even accept Shalewa. So how do they want to go about it? You see, one thing with marriage, eh, sometimes it's not always good to just go into a relationship where you know that your family might not accept the person in question. So I think if they break up, 
it's 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 okay it's okay let's muhammad go with his farida and then saying is a mistake is the one that i don't even understand you know definitely well that this farida in question is already on your case you know you already have a, a history with farida why won't you just try and avoid her in the first place why is it that when people cheat the first thing they first of all say is, is a mistake is the devil's work is this one is that one why can't you just accept your mistake and not blame other people for your mistake so when he said that it was a mistake ah if he was close to me i would have given him a serious knock it was no mistake you did it voluntarily farida has always been on your case and then you now created room for it to happen nobody forced you into doing it it was something you did you are being you were drunk which i don't think you were drunk so it's a mistake accept your mistake and move on shaliwa should move on she's a fine girl and she always have so many people that will come her way and then Mide comes around see Mide is a sweet guy you know? Mide is a sweet guy like ah the way he like time show me how to love you and all of that i was like oh my god oh my god like i love the way it all ended like this particular episode ended i was thinking it was just going to end in shaliwa and mohammed's breakup Tiwa and Mide trying to quarrel or trying to or Tiwa trying to move out of the house but thank god at least that Tiwa and Mide are back together so let's see what um season episode five would offer us thank you once again for watching my video hope you enjoyed this particular episode have yourself a lovely day ahead bye